Hello my lovelies, welcome back. Um, I've got some new bits, so it's sort of first impressions. I think my camera keeps going into focus and out of focus. And I hate having to keep looking at the screen because it's annoying when I edit and I see my eyes flicking across. My apologies. Betty is also around. She's right behind the camera. Um, I've just put some of the La Roche-Posay um, Psychoplast lip balm on. If you like lip balms, but you do find they dry your lips out, which a lot of them do, but we just like them because they taste nice, they look nice, they smell nice. This is one that doesn't. It doesn't have the naughty ingredients in that dry your lips out. So I think Nadine Baggett raves about this one. For those of you that like um, her channel, you'll already know, I suppose, won't you? But yes, I think this is a popular one. So La Roche Posay, which is a very reasonable skincare brand, reasonably priced. So new bits, not all of it new. Um, there's High End and Drugstore, or High Street. One brand I have been asked about, and I've kind of avoided for various reasons, um, but you keep asking, and I do keep seeing posts, and the colours look amazing. So, I finally dipped my toe into that brand. I'll talk about that in a minute. I've got an eyeshadow palette that has been a hit and miss but looks amazing, but people either love it or hate it. Then I have some lip products, which it's quite interesting, and we'll get to that as well. So we're gonna do the base, which brings me on to this particular brand. Um, I believe people over the pond in the US of A will know this person. She was definitely, I think the TV program went across. Trini and Susanna, who did a program on telling people what to wear and not what and not and what not to wear um and i think susanna was the one who was always touching ladies breasts she was obsessed with ladies bosoms but trini is um tv personality she does fashion things on television and she brought out her own range of makeup your thoughts on trini i know i've spoken to people and it's a love hate thing i don't know the lady i see her on youtube and she looks as mad as a box of frogs which for me is a plus because i love people like that i love anybody that's vibrant and exuberant and crackers and eccentric and all that so for me i quite like that aspect of her but that's nothing to do with her products but i have got some because you all keep talking about it and um, price wise yeah, I think maybe using her name a little bit. I think she's pushing it a bit. You're looking at sort of 30 odd pounds for BB creams. You know, I'd probably think maybe 25 would have been more sensible. There are lip and cheek products, lip products, which again are around 25 pounds. But you know, anyway, I've got a few bits. Some of the packaging, it kind of reminds me of another brand I don't know if you can see that but this is Trini London BFF cream skin perfecter it's in light medium and it's SPF 30 um, it also comes with this is what Trini is famous for in her branding which is the stacking pots and the idea is that all you need is to take your makeup in one of these and you just stack the pots on top of each other and they send you a freebie when you order a base so I think that's really good. So I have that. Then I have the lip to cheek. Now the colours, I have to say, this is probably one of the few brands where what you see is what you get. The swatching on their website is superb. This is Pia, P-I-A, which I've seen a lot of people post about and I just thought that was sublime. Very creamy. So we'll be using that. And there you go. You see what happens is you just stack and click so they they don't come off it's like a child's building bricks it gives me immense pleasure then there's lip lux products there's no reason why you couldn't use these on the cheek but they are going to be more sheer this is pookie which again i just think is the most divine it's a pinky red color and you can just just make sure your lids are and i love the fact that everything's clicked so you click them together they come apart fairly easily um, but I like the fact that with your lid you get a satisfying click so you know everything's secure it's not going to dry out and basically you can get concealer highlighter bronzers everything and you just take a stack away and you're sorted brilliant so 
let's just break those off again we're going to use the base i do like the idea of the pot this is like medium it's enriched with the extract of porcelain flour which hydrates boosts radiance and wakes up tired skin um, apply as you would a moisturiser. Now I've seen people using this alone and also as a primer and it works very similar to tinted moisturisers, that kind of thing, where it's a very sort of plain white colour with grey flecks. I've put more on the back of my hand than I probably would use but just so we can see and I've not actually tried this. So this is, oh it smells lovely. Gonna take it everywhere. Let's just put a bit more there. And I've seen a few people say it's such an amazing sort of base for a foundation if you do want to sort of double up. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what we we think it does it blends nice it feels very creamy not sort of lightweight that's lovely that's a very nice glow to the skin obviously they do have lighter shades and they do have darker shades like medium very natural there's no sort of obvious signs of the product whether a little like the Estee Lauder it takes a little bit time to develop I can see a lovely glow to my skin I'm not particularly seeing any great colour change which this time of year I really don't want maybe in the summer I would go medium if they do a little bit darker I may look at that but I quite like the consistency I like the glow to my skin I still have skin issues so you know I'm not expecting it to cover those but yes I quite I quite like the feel of it it's not drying anywhere quite a natural finish light medium okay I am going to put base on although I should do my eyes first really but I like to do base. I have got Yves Saint Laurent Youth Liberator. This is the Serum Foundation in BR50. Um, I have no idea if this still exists because I think they were discontinuing it. But that's Yves Saint Laurent for you. So this is has a bit of depth, a bit of darkness to it. But that's gliding over the BFF quite nicely very nicely but it's a nice foundation on its own anyway so my apologies if um you see this foundation and think that's the one for me they will have brought something else out they bring things out and discontinue them like nobody's business i just love the smell i love when brands have a distinctive smell about their products and it reminds me of just years of working for Yves Saint Laurent and putting their products on myself and other people and this just smooths out so nicely as well probably slightly dark for my skin now but I'm not worried too much I think I probably expected a little bit more from that base just a little bit more colour but it is um it is just a skin perfecter so that would just be a very subtle um, hint of colour and more a, a glow really but I did read a lot of people loving its priming qualities so it's a lot of money just to sort of give a nice hint to the skin but then again people will pay that kind of money for a nice primer so there you go each to their own Right, I have IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in medium. I think it's probably my favourite concealer. I'm just going to whack that on with my finger to start with. And then I have this 
Beauty. Um, mixed reviews. Um, I do find this particular brand and their eyeshadow palettes. Um, I think you do have to be a little bit more patient. Um, they do take more work. Um, and you have to think about the application. It's the Huda or Huda Beauty. And it's the new nude palette. It comes in this casing and then it's a cardboard palette i do have another one which to be fair i don't use that often and then the uh, protective coat sheet is very very pretty and then this is it which it really is you you actually do not want to dip into it it's magnificent it's stunning there are a lot of matte shades, there's pigments pressed in there, there's two glitter shades pressed in there, so you've got your two glitter shades, lots of big glittery pigment colours. And also down here there is one called Concealed, and this is a concealer, not for under your eye, but to use on your eyelid so the glitters and the pigments will stick. Now there's no reason why you can't use your own concealer, you can always use these colours wet to pick up the colour and intensify them, but actually getting them to stay on the eyelid um, is the other thing. So I don't know how that's going to work because that's sort of the only creamy option and then you've got lots of powders around. So I would imagine that's going to get a little bit discoloured as well, but this is what you have and it's absolutely beautiful. I have not swatched done a thing with it so we're just going to have a little bit of a play um i think i'm going to use my finger and just go into concealed there it's a sort of very ice cream colored it's very creamy it's quite white on its um placing i'm just going to take it up because I don't know how what I'm going to take and where I'm going to take it. So let's just blend that up. It does look very sort of pinky, mauve shades. And I'm, I'm never a fan of mauve as a colour. But on me, it does sort of work sometimes. So let's just... And you can always add more. But I, I just want to... That's okay, but it's quite white. I don't know how it would work with other um, skin colours. It might need blending, it, it's how it's going to work, it's, it's very difficult to call it to be honest because it's funny how different skin tones can take shades you wouldn't imagine they could take. So we're going to have a bit of a play, I have absolutely no idea, I'm drawn to just about anything and everything um, on here but I am going to go in with Secret which is just a sort of a taupey pink colour. Um, I have no idea what the payback's like and on everybody things are different so it may look a completely different tone on my eyes than it it would on somebody else's so let's just take that into the gosh yeah now that's to me completely not the colour I was expecting I'm going to take that over the whole eyelid actually we can also put more concealer on. I'd like to see actually how the concealer, whether you can build it up. That is extremely pink, but we have put quite a white concealer on my eyes. So it's actually going to pick out the strongest colour in there. It may be warmer and not as pink without the concealer. So let's, uh, let's remember that. I'm just going to take that up the whole way. But I like that, it's very blendable, it's a matte shade, it's very smooth, it blended well over there. I will come back with this palette and we'll try it without the concealer, have a play with it in different ways. And just taking it up to the brow as I tend to do. But that's smoothing on really, really nicely. You could apply your concealer using a brush if you want to be more precise. That's really nice. I can see this palette's going to get dirty very quickly, which is going to be frustrating, but never mind. Right, in with Raw. Um, I would describe that as sort of a brownie mauve shade. It looks almost brick colour on camera. And again, it's going over pink. 
so it's going to sort of change the, the colour but I'm going to take that sort of in the, the crease and just slightly up. Yeah, not a lot of fallout. Like that. Fluffy brush, just gonna give that a little wiggle, just blend it, soften it down a little bit. They actually soften down very, very easily. They respond well to the brush picking up the colour. They're very nice. Yeah, that just softens down very easily. It's not hard work at all. And the other Huda palette that I have, I found it was a bit draggy with the colour. That's, that's nice. They feel nice. Very, very nice. Very easy to work with. So far, so good. That's lovely. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that concealer just on my ring finger and I'm just going to pat that just here. And I'm going to use, I'm definitely going to use a brush. I'm going to try a bit of Infatuated, which is this glitter here. Got to have a bit of glitter. Wow. Just pressing that. You don't think there's a lot on the brush, but it really, it almost statically gravitates to where the concealer is and places itself there and not any fallout don't need to bring you in a bit closer I'm just going to go back in with a bit of the uh, raw which was the darker shade that we used I'm just going to take that just back in the crease slightly Can hear snoring, it's you know who. I love it. Fluffy brush. I'm going to use some of Kinky, which is a shimmer shade. So you haven't got the big chunks of glitter in that one. Then I'm going to use Kinky on a brush and take that up. That is so smooth. Right, I'm going to use a little bit of Fantasy, which is quite a chunky glitter. I'm just going to put my finger Oh wow, in there, I'll just pop that in my eye corner, that holds a lot of colour. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Crave, again a chunky glitter, I'm just going to put that over the top, just to lighten up. Daniel Sandler. 
This is the Daniel Sandler waterproof eyeliner. I have it in purple velvet. I'm just going to run that on the top lash line. Just give it a little bit of density. You could put false lashes on, give a similar effect. All right, brows. I have some of the Gosh Brow Gel. Put some mascara on. It's actually better than I expected. Much, much better than expected. Um, right, I'm going to go in with some of the Trini um, products. I'm going to go in with Pia, which is this lovely um, shade here. Gorgeous colour. Um, I'm just going to use my finger actually for that. Oh gosh, that's a really good pickup colour. Pigment's really good. Yeah. I like that. Wow. blending it out I do like to sort of take it under the eye almost just lifts the face gives it that warmth very very nice so you can have it intense but it blends down beautifully and click right um some of this which is the art deco this is from their sort of Christmas collection this is their glow couture powder I like a bit of glow couture nice textured highlighter which I love because it really pulls the colour just here lovely love that and oh I can't stop faffing faffing right let's put some mascara on some of the NARS climax mascara I've seen this being re-reviewed um recently it's got better as I've used it as it's warmed up but it's not it's not what I expected um, but we're all different when it comes to what we're looking for in our mascaras it's okay I wouldn't buy it again um, uh, there's definitely better out there for me A mixture of lip products I just wanted to share these with you um, because they interested me but I am going to use the Trini one because I'm desperate to see what that's like um, this is Makeup Revolution Pro and it's their lip color and I took the label off and I can't remember what it's called I'm sorry it is incredible and the color really holds and when you cleanse your face it actually cleanses all over your face and your face is pink not dyed pink but there you go um, but I really liked this and it's sort of a pinky red tone so I saw this and I thought oh that's interesting because of this okay you get me do you get me you get me now Makeup Revolution Pro Superdrug High Street affordable can't remember how much it was but I think it was under a five and maybe could have been under seven quid this is NARS. That's all I'm saying. Um, this one is um, Star Woman and it looks like a blue red, which it varies. Sometimes it looks sort of brick red, brown red on me, sometimes blue red. They both stay for ages. NARS, to be fair, lasts a lot longer than Makeup Revolution. It holds its colour, but it does transfer off. This still transfers, but not as much. But I was just interested. So it, this Makeup Revolution is a dupe for NARS. It's as simple as that. And there are so many colours in both to choose from. So I have those, but I want to try Pookie from Trini and again I think I'm going to use my finger they just call out for you to dip your finger in oh it's so creamy I 
on my teeth not a great start oh that feels really nice and that is lip looks very soft to say it's just a lip almost like a lip cream the pigment is really good the color you get is what you see in the pot i like that that's impressive because often they're really sort of washed out colors but that's that's nice very very nice so yeah trini i'm liking the colors um i want to have longer with the bb or bff cream um to work with it see what i think but it has to be said that the huda huda um new nude palette nude new palette um is far better than expected don't be put off by the big chunky glitters and shimmers there's lots of ways of working with them you can wet them yes it's got concealer don't be put off by that you saw i just used it as a cream base basically to stick the glitter but it'd be interesting to see how they work with the other eyeshadows and everything else and you can always use another concealer anyway if you want to um yeah sometimes you do need more thought with the palette but i have to say i found that quite straightforward and i'm very impressed that there's absolutely you will start to find little bits of glitter obviously but you'll get that with anything but there was no fallout um as i was applying it at all the colors are certainly more vibrant when they're going over a creamy texture and because it's light it's going to pick up the pinkness of them so we i do want to try it on sort of naked eyelids as well to see the results but yeah i can see what all the fuss is about i like it i really really do like it it is a thing of beauty um i do think they are overpriced but huda yeah it's such a popular brand she is a makeup artist people will pay it um some of them i've liked my other palette i've hardly used at all so i do need to sort of work with them but i i really like that i really do and i will be wearing this today i will be taking betty for a walk looking like this today i don't just do makeup for youtube and then take it off again i know a lot of people do and i've seen comments on instagram from people who say oh these people that put their makeup on and then take it off no i don't i go out with what i put on simple as that you know that's what i like and as you can see i'm just wiping these lip things off but they're there they are there they're very interesting to remove when you're cleansing right sorry if the camera's been fading in and out hope you liked this particular look i really enjoyed it let me know if you like being brought in closer if that helps um any questions you know what to do if right i'm off thank you for joining me and i will see you all very very soon bye for now <laughs>